Given theta in the range 0 less than or equal to theta less than pi, the equation x squared plus y squared plus 4x cos theta plus 8y sine theta plus 10 equals 0 represents a circle for various values of theta. Um, So what is the what is the idea here? My, uh, I you know the the general formula for a circle is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared, and the center for a circle like this is a b. So I suppose what we could start by doing is rewriting this equation in this form and um, and then just seeing which values of theta al allow it to be written in this form. In particular you want the right side of the equation when it's been rearranged you want the right side to be positive. Um, how about this? Why don't I just expand this x squared minus 2ax plus a squared plus y squared minus 2by plus b squared is equal to r squared. So I have x squared minus 2ax plus y squared minus 2by plus a squared plus b squared minus r squared equals zero. And now I can read off from the original expression that I need four cosine theta to be equal to two a and I need eight sine theta to be equal to two b, I suppose negative, negative signs, right? That's fine. A, a and B are arbitrary real numbers. And then once I solve for A and B, or I mean, I, I want to make substitutions here for things into here and, and get restrictions on when this term, I need this term here to be negative. This has to be, or wait, no. What do we need? that, right, a squared plus b squared minus r squared has to be equal to 10 and r squared must be positive. Okay, so I, I need, I need to, I need, uh, yeah, I need a squared plus b squared minus 10 should be greater than or equal to zero. And that's the constraint that I need to enforce. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to substitute values, uh, substitute what a and b are from these expressions and see when this inequality is true or false. Mm, now because in the original question, it was it says that theta is between zero and pi. Um, if you know what the the graph of sine theta looks like, we only need to take the positive root. Um, the positive root of this um, uh, in this square root thing here. Okay, and when is sine theta greater than or equal to one over root two? If I plot what sine theta, the, the graph of sine theta looks like between zero and pi, something, something like this, we get this hump. And at pi over four, 
and 3 pi over 4. This is when um, we have 1 over root 2. So I think the answer should be theta is between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. I hope that's one of the answers in the question. It is. Uh, now, I have closed intervals here. Um, I, I wrote, you know, this, this translates into what I've written translates into this. But I suppose we should really have strict inequalities. And the reason we should have a strict inequality is because if theta is equal to one of these two values, then the corresponding radius of the circle will be zero. Uh, that corresponds to an equality here. And so r would have to be zero, um, which I suppose is not really a circle. Um, so if I were going through this more carefully, I suppose I, sh I would have kept strict inequalities, but the only option given to us that comes even close to this is option B with pi over four strictly less than theta, strictly less than three pi over four. Yeah, uh, there might be a nicer way of doing this, I suppose. Um, but starting with the general form for the formula of a circle, helped a lot here. Just writing that down, th the next thing that came to mind was, well, hey, I can just expand both these terms and then compare the coefficients that I get here and, and here, I suppose, to what I'm given, and then just work out the allowable values of theta from that. But maybe there's a, a more straightforward or nicer way of seeing how this might work. Uh, it relied a little bit on a, a trig identity as well at some point in order to uh, simplify this expression and knowing what your trig ratios are for um, particular values of theta. If I have more to say about this, I'll put it down in the description. Thanks for watching.